Hi, this is Prasanna from Drona Aviation. Today we're going to talk about how to use Cygnus IDE and read an analog channel uh, for your analog sensors. So let's begin. For this project, you need the Pluto X drone. Uh, you need the breakout board which comes with your Pluto X drone. And you need like a potentiometer or a similar analog device. Okay. So we're going to use the potentiometer because it's very easy to manipulate and, and check the readings. So without further ado, let's begin. So I hope that you guys have downloaded the Cygnus IDE. If you have not, you can go to create.dronaaviation.com and you can get all the resources related to this project in that. You also need the API reference guide, which you can see here. Uh, this is also there in the, in the create website. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up a new project uh, and it's going to be a Pluto X project. So, so let's uh, name the project analog test. Okay. And uh, if you're familiar with Cygnus ID, this should not be very hard. If you're not, then just go back and check out our uh, YouTube series called Drone Programming with the Pluto and Cygnus IDE. And that will get you started with Cygnus IDE. So uh, what we want to do is we want to interface the analog pins. So I just open up my API uh, manual and <clears throat> inside this API reference, I see that I have, I have this ADC, inside the peripherals, I have this ADC um, module and there are only two commands in it and read. And uh, <clears throat> so the way we want to do this is we first want to initialize the ADC using this command and then we want to read the pin using this command. So before we get into the programming bit, let's quickly check out our uh, pin details. So I'll go log on to the create website. <clears throat> and uh, as you can see that on the flight controller, in the Primus X, you see that there's this Unibus right here. This Unibus has many GPIOs. And so essentially what we are going to do is we are going to take one of those pins and try to read analog value from one of those pins. Now, how do we access this Unibus? You access this Unibus using something called X Breakout. So this is like a breakout board, which helps you access all the GPIO pins so what we're going to do is, so those are all the different breakout pins that you are exposed to once you use the X breakout. So what you're going to try and do is, so this particular port is specifically meant for the ADC. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and uh, read this ADC pin. Okay. So this particular pin uh, has many, so this particular pin can read ADC, right? Uh, there are other analog pins as well. So for example, so <clears throat> you can go to the Primus X page and you can just see that there are many, many pins here with ADC functionality, right? So any of those pins can be initialized using the same way that I'm showing you right now. For example, let's just stick to this one particular pin. Okay. So we have to initialize pin 13 and you have to read, read pin 13. That's it. So let's begin our programming. So the first thing we want to do is we want to initialize the ADC. So what we do is we say, we first of all include the uh, um, relevant header file. So you can see here that ADC is actually a part of peripheral library. So we go here and add the peripheral library. Okay. And uh, you can see the list of all libraries over here in the libs folder. Sorry, in the platform folder. So you can see that peripheral is right over here. All right, so we just say ADC in it. Okay, and we say pin 13. We want to initialize the 13th pin 
of your universe and we just want to read it continuously so we go inside Pluto loop and we just say let me declare a variable uh, let's call it pot value okay so this will read the potentiometer value and so what we want here is so the pot value is equal to ADC read okay and again here pin 13 and that's it now let's print the value uh, in order to print this thing what we want to do is we want to use the print functionality of our API guide uh, so you can see that it is inside the utils and there's something called as print monitor and let's try to access that so we will add the functionality using <coughs> this library called utils and let's just print it over here so the so all you have to do is monitor dot print and so print ln we are going to do because ln helps you print and, and send the console to the next line um, and here we have the variable as pot value Okay. All right. So um, okay. So this should be in quotes. Okay. That's it. So you're done with the code. So let's see if we can build this and we can get this error free. Okay, so the project has been built successfully and we have the hex file. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set up our hardware. Uh, so we take our Pluto X drone, okay, and we take our breakout board and uh, we try to understand uh, where how the alignment is. So there is a small arrow over here that you can see and there's also a small arrow on the Primus X board that you can see here and we want to make sure that both of those arrows are actually pointing upwards okay and we just uh, use this particular um, screw to make sure that this particular board is aligned properly and uh, after we just align it we just press it inside and that's about it okay so we have pressed it and it's fit properly and um, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to take the potentiometer so this is the potentiometer. Uh, this is like a 10 kilo, uh, 10 kilo ohms potentiometer, which has a lot of those jumper wires. And I'll be adding those jumper wires uh, to my board's analog pins over here. Okay. So uh, all the pin details and everything is is given in the create website. Just check out the um, uh, accessory section, and inside the breakout, you will see all the different pinouts. So we are on our create website. So what we're going to do is the middle part of the potentiometer we're going to add here. We are going to add one end of the potentiometer over here and one end, the second end of the potentiometer over here so that we have like a full range of ADC values. So let me quickly do that. Okay, so now I have uh, set up my potentiometer. I've added the potentiometer on my breakout board and let's quickly uh, flash the code on my drone so I'll switch on my drone I'll look for the Wi-Fi so this is my drone's Wi-Fi you will have to look for your drone's Wi-Fi enter the password or uh, to program your drone and when you're programming the drone make sure that your app is not connected uh, to your drone so uh, once I have already uh, have already built this code so let me just do a normal flash so all the values of your uh, Pluto monitor which which you basically uh, send using this monitor dot print commands come inside this something called as Pluto monitor over here in the Cygnus IDE so all you have to do is that you just have to uh, make sure that uh, your phone 
is connected to your uh, drone because you need to start the developer mode okay so I'm going to connect my uh, I'm going to make sure that my Wi-Fi is connected to my Pluto I'm going to connect uh, the IDE using this particular button and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that my app uh, the developer mode is on so I connect my app uh, using the connect button and I press the developer mode button and as you can see that uh, there are a whole bunch of values which are coming up so let me just vary the potentiometer so you can see that the value of the ADC channel actually changes as I'm rotating uh, the potentiometer so this is uh, this is like a constant value as you can see that there is some noise and this happens uh, in analog channels this kind of noise is expected I hope you have learned something of value in this tutorial uh, if you have any questions doubts please uh, write in the comments below or just email us at support at the rate thank you